doing some uh, an initial review of Mobocon Boris X7. Just barely arrived, picked it up off the porch. Uh, we're going to put it together, see how we like it. Uh, one thing I want to show you that has already got me wondering, uh, let me show you this. So according to the UPS label, we have a ship weight of 30 pounds. I found that pretty hard to believe, so I put it on a scale, and I got 48 pounds almost, just shy of 48. So hopefully there's no more surprises like that. So here's what we have to work with. There's the bike as it came out of the box. Nothing unusual there. And the parts that came with it. Seat, pedals, quick release, reflectors, and an extra set of purple rim strips. Um, not sure why those are there, but okay, we'll take them. Okay, so here's the Boris X7 from Moto Bacon. Um, set up and ready for at least a test ride. I'm sure there'll be some uh, fine tuning on derailers and, and brakes, but uh, Seems to be pretty good so far. Setup was actually really nice. Um, had to reroute the the rear or the front uh, derailleur cable, um, and that could have been just me not looking at things straight. But uh, overall, you know, it it looks like a, a decent decent setup. Um, these little clips, I'm not overly impressed with. Um, they work pretty good on some of them, but they don't really catch that great. Um, I, I ran a zip tie through that one, so not a big deal. Um, zip ties work just fine. Um, but anyway, it's a good looking bike. The only thing I did differently, uh, or that I changed already, I put some different pedals on. These, these Wellgo pedals are probably on par with the, the pedals that it came with as far as quality. Um, a little bit bigger platform, but uh, didn't have the, the studs that I like, um, which I don't know why I'm worried about it. This bike's for my wife. Um, but anyway, that's the only thing we've changed. Uh, more than likely, we're going to put more of an upright bar on it and change the grips. Um, we will be switching it to tubeless, uh, but that, uh, that'll be in the next few days. But uh, so far, so good on the Moto Bacon Boris X7. Okay, so we've been riding the Boris X7 for a couple of days, and I just want to go over a few points that I really like on it. Um, it does ride nice, handles nice. Um, the uh, V V rubber, uh, the V8s. I don't like them as much as I like the Narts. Um, they they would break loose a little bit on on some of the climbs that were a little bit loose. But they're not a bad tire. Um, for the, for the soft stuff. They're going to be worthless, I think, in the snow, but, uh, you know, th it's a decent tire for what it is. Some features I really like on it, I like the mounts on the fork there um, for touring. I like that they put a second bottle mount down here. Um, that's nice, so if you're bike packing and you have a frame pack on, you can still throw Nice patty. Thanks. <laughs> When you're bike touring and you have a frame pack on, it still gives you an option for a water bottle down there, and that's that's a pretty nice feature. Um, but overall, you know, I think it's it's decent. Um, it's been a good, smooth ride. Uh, you also have rack mounts back here for the uh, for a rear rack. So they've they've done some things that I really like about it. Um, you know, I I'm not 
overly impressed, but I'm not disappointed either. I think for the, the price point, it's 700 bucks shipped. Um, I think, at least at this point in time, I think it's worth its money. Um, is it the deal of a century? I don't think so. Um, you know, cheaper cranks and wheels. The wheels are fairly heavy. I haven't got a weight on it yet, but uh, we, we'll hopefully do that. Um, you know, you do get what you pay for. Um, the the real test will be you know over the next few months how everything holds up and and that'll that'll really be the the test of whether it's worth the money or not so but for for now you know I like it it's not a bad bike it rides well um, gets a lot of attention like all fat bikes do but uh, you know that's the basics so we're gonna head down the mountain now and have some more fun on the Boris. Now keep in mind this is just a preliminary review. 
I don't like to review things that we haven't thoroughly tested. And we've, we've had the bike for a couple of weeks now, and we've been on several rides, and it rides nice, you know. I don't really have any complaints about how it rides, how it feels. A little on the heavy side, um, 37 pounds. Okay, you know, not, not, there's heavier bikes out there. We'll just put it that way. Um, but, uh, you know, for somebody that's going to ride really hard and, and is a strong, aggressive rider, I think they're going to they're going to go through the parts on this bike pretty quickly, and that that will be the true test is time on this thing. And next spring and summer, after it's had several miles and it's had some winter rides and things like that, it'll be interesting to see how the wheels hold up, how the, the hubs and the other bearings in the you know bottom rack headset and things like that. If those are already starting to to have issues and need to be rebuilt and stuff like that, you know, then I'm not going to be feeling so warm and fuzzy about my purchase, but they'll probably be fine in my opinion. And so at this point in time, I'm, I'm saying at a price point of 700 bucks, uh, you're getting exactly what you pay for and it's worth its money. But keep in mind, it's not a hardcore fat bike. I mean, it's there's some compromises here. And if you go into it knowing that, you won't be disappointed. So. That's, that's the uh, Motobacom Boris X7. We'll be back in a few months with a little more details and let you know how it's been holding up. Thanks for watching.